Chapter 9 was a relatively short chapter. Nevertheless, one of the most common mistakes that students make is confusing osteoporosis with osteoarthritis. Beyond that, make sure you review the different types of joints, paying attention to the fact that we spent most of our time on the different synovial joints because these are the ones that are more frequently injured, with the one exception of vertebral discs. The vertebral joints are amphiarthroses, or slightly movable joints. Fibrocartilage is located between each pair of vertebrae. There is an inner, gooier nucleus pulposus and an outer, tougher annulus fibrosus. In a slip disc, it's possible for the nucleus pulposus to change its position between the vertebrae. The disc itself doesn't actually move, but the nucleus pulposus may bulge or rupture through the annulus fibrosus. This usually won't cause any symptoms, but if it pushes on a nerve or the spinal column, then pain or loss of motor function may result. In the typical synovial joint, there should be articular cartilage covering the surfaces of the ends of the long bones. This cartilage is slippery and therefore helps to reduce friction as these bones move past each other. There should also be a synovial membrane which encapsulates a space between the two bones. It will secrete glycosaminoglycans and other molecules into this space which forms synovial fluid which acts as a lubricant and also a shock absorber when it's under stress. In rheumatoid arthritis, the immune system attacks proteins found in the synovial fluid, and this triggers inflammation. Synovial fluid works best when it's a thin surface. Inflammation increases the thickness of the synovial cavity, which reduces its ability to act as a lubricant. Osteoarthritis, on the other hand, is gradual wear and tear to the articular cartilage, and when those are lost, then bone tissue can rub on bone tissue, triggering damage and inflammation. Rheumatoid arthritis could be diagnosed with a blood test because it's caused by the immune system, whereas osteoarthritis could be visualized on an x-ray if damage has occurred to the bone tissue. Without treatment, rheumatoid arthritis will ultimately become osteoarthritis, so it's important to get the symptoms under control as quickly as possible. Make sure that you don't have osteoarthritis and osteoporosis confused from the previous chapter. One is a disease of bone tissue. Oops. Osteoarthritis is a disease of joints, whereas osteoporosis is a disease of bone tissue. Osteoarthritis is a disease of the joints, whereas osteoporosis is a disease of bone tissue. Lastly, Familiarize yourself with the three ligaments and cartilages that are typically injured in a knee injury. Those are the anterior cruciate ligament, the medial collateral ligament, and the lateral meniscus.